This is Eddie San, the optimistic marketer. And I usually don't like to go live here because I like to sit down and relax at my desk, but it just wouldn't work. So that's cool. We're live. And this is the week in review with digital marketing. If this is your first time watching this live episode, uh, and again, I I'm looking at two places at two directions. It's not that I'm, I'm ignoring you, but I have Instagram live. I have Facebook live. And this is an unusual way for me to do this because I like to sit down at my desk and I have things to talk to you about, plus my cup of coffee. So guess what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to go get my cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Here I am. Mm. It's always good to have a cup of coffee in the afternoon. <laughs> All right, everybody, again, thank you so much for watching the recording and thank you for watching me live. I do appreciate you. Um, if this is your first time looking at me and thinking, who is this guy with a T-shirt that says his name on uh, Instagram? You can't even read it, right? Because it's upside uh, the other way around. So don't worry about it. It's EddieSand.com. Listen, it's just me. I'm just crazy like that. And besides, it's uh, tax write-off. Hello. <laughs> so, hey, man. Anyway, cool beans. Let's get it together. Let's go on. So you see something behind me, by the way. Um, so you kind of know I'm, I'm kind of giving you the hint already. Um, they were already there, by the way. I didn't write this down. They were there since uh, yesterday. Uh, and it's just a process that I've created for a lot of you. And that's I'm going to talk about that in in at the end okay so um but let's cover what's happening oh hey happy friday everyone yeah what's up steve so let's talk about this week all right so this week one of the things that has happened and and i notice uh this the the patterns of uh, advertising uh in facebook okay and it is something you know I kind of went in there in that direction because a lot of times just uh, giving an overview of, of what it would take to create an ad and to create a successful ad on Facebook, uh, what it takes uh, to have that. I wanted to do that because, well, you got to know, you got to know what you're doing with Facebook ads. You don't want to end up the mistakes that I've made before, which is waste a lot of time, frustration and lots of money. Um, although you may be thankful because i already went through it so you guys don't have to yay and through that process since about a couple of weeks ago um i've been dealing a lot with the the going back to the fundamentals and i think it was yesterday i can't remember now was it yesterday or the day before it was one of those live videos that i did that i had to talk about the importance of going live now check this out. So there has been some people that have gone live and they've stopped. Some of them have gone live multiple times and then they've reduced them. Can I just tell you the reason why I was encouraged to do this uh, previous uh, live video, man, I, I want to say it was yesterday that it was more for encouraging to keep going and to remind yourselves that the reason for going live is to create engagement, to create awareness of your brand, but you're doing it in a influencer approach. All right. An influencer. Okay. You want to become an influencer. You, what that means is that the, remember when I kept telling you and reminding you that you have two paths, right? You have the path of a journey, taking people on a journey or, or, sharing your expertise but you got to decide to do one or the other you can always switch but you got to choose one or the other well the reason why i recommended that for the past three months almost four now is because when you take that path you become an influencer that is the influencer's path that's the reason why when you go to youtube and if you follow any of your favorite influencers right on youtube that's the reason why they take you through either a box open review or they take you through a how to do something review. And, and, you know, they take you through stuff. Right. Well, that's the kind of environment that I believe Facebook is heading in that direction. Did you know that Facebook has a program 
where when you reach a few thousand p followers and the activity that they require, you'll, you'll actually be able to have advertisers pay you for going live, just like YouTube. Did you guys know that? Let me see if you guys knew, knew that. So like YouTube, you can be an influencer and get paid through advertisers so that you can keep doing your shows. And it's pretty good. I mean, I, I know people that are making like 10 grand a month or more. So, and that's just advertising stuff. So companies, big companies pay them. Uh, so Facebook is heading in that direction. They already have that. Uh, I can't tell you the details because I can't quite remember, <laughs> you know. Uh, but there, there is a form that you can fill out, and there is uh, instructions on what you need to reach, and certain amount of uh, videos and content, and and all this stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, Bridget, wow, right? So that's you know, I'm like, um, let me let me tell you this. So at the beginning of the year. I made a, I had to shift my marketing approach. As a matter of fact, um, I was, I was doing a lot of face-to-face -face sales to help small businesses with our uh, advertising agency to, to get their business online and, and, you know, basically get them leads. Okay. With Facebook ads. So, However, right, all the changes after January started to happen. And I noticed, I noticed what all I did, I mean, I'm not a genius, okay, but all I did was look at Europe and what where they were going, uh, they were going through, and I saw their results, and that's what they were doing. Home, staying at home, locked in, and businesses closing and all that stuff. I thought, you know what? This is coming. So that's when a lot of opportunities started to happen. It's like, seriously, I didn't even have to do much, like one opportunity after the other in preparation of what's happening right now. Well, back then, even last year, I knew that Facebook Live was going to be a hit. I just didn't know how. All of a sudden, I started digging into it this year. And right when COVID hit and all this pandemic crazy stuff happened, I went into it and I decided to jump in. And as I did that, the first month, I realized the potential and where Facebook was heading because after the first month, uh, which was, I think it was March, yeah, or April, something like that. But after the first month, the CEO of Facebook decided to go live, do a live video, which was hilarious. But, you know, hey, some people are video personalities, some don't. So he needed to have a little smile. But anyway, that's him, right? So anyway, he went live. And what did he do? He started talking about how he was going to upgrade the platform and the live videos. He talked about a lot. Engagement, rooms, messengers, all the stuff that we have now, basically. He talked about it a couple of months ago. So why was he doing that? Because he saw the market. So all this to tell you, based on the article that I just read too, I'm going to tell you that right now. So I read this article and this article, this, uh, it was in medium. If you guys know medium, it's where you can read practically good, good content, good journalist content. Okay. Many of that, but I read this article and they were talking about, well, where are we heading? Hey, what's up, Joey? So where are we heading? And the article mentioned that we have practically, um, I think it was like three, three ways that this, this could end up. One was that people are going to like working from home and the ability or with all this technology, and they're not going to want to go back. Right. Two is the businesses, the co corporations and businesses are going to realize like, wait a minute, you know, we're saving money. We don't have to have an overhead <laughs> or so many of them. So, right. And three is the bad part is the, the, the bad part is that businesses, small business owners, restaurants, coffee shops, uh, even retail stores may end up losing a bunch of money and eventually closing down because people are not driving to work and returning from work where that's the usual traffic of retails and restaurants, right? 
People go used to go out to lunch together. People used to meet after work, used to go drinking after work. You, you see what I'm saying? So now what that they're home, it's almost like that's not going to happen much. So I thought that article was very interesting because you know what? That's where we were heading anyway. I, since, since the beginning, when I started this show, I started with the with the with the um, how do I say the the SOS right? Like 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 alert alert right? That we're being pushed into the virtual world. I kept saying that, and I and sometimes I still do. We keep being pushed into the virtual world. Why I said that is because I saw it. It's like the virtual world is already here. But not everybody is taking advantage of it. The digital world, okay? The virtual world, digital world, you know what I mean, right? The digital world, the, the, not many people are taking advantage of it. And so we, that's what I felt like. We were being pushed now, and it, and it cost many, many, many months or years, possibly, to get us where we are now. So I think we were heading in the same direction. Everybody was going to be online. Everybody was going to be working from home. Everybody was going to shop from home. You know, technology is just going to get better. The 5G thing, you know, things speed are going to be off the roof. So seriously, we were going in that direction. Cars dri driving by themselves now, right? Using Google Maps. I mean, it's crazy, but that's where we're heading. Well, we just got a big kick into the that right now. So the transition has shocked, especially small business owners who thought they had time, who thought, ah, eh, you know, I want some local people coming in. I want this. I want that. Or they were relying too much on a certain um, certain um, advertising technique, which is usually the traditional advertising. So you see, everything just kind of was was in shock for everyone. What's, what, what does all this mean to you? Well... We have an opportunity. We have an opportunity to either be of service to those people who are not sure how to use the technology, or we can grow our own business by providing the services through technology. Okay, so it's it's a position that man, it this is amazing. Anyway, so through all that, um, this week I went through and, and I kind of reminded you the process. If you remember, I had it up here, the uh, like, trust, uh, I'm sorry, the no like and trust process. And, um, and it's just important. It's important to remember that's the reason why you do it. Um, so let me finish with this here, almost finish with this, because Steve here, Steve, are you here? Let me know if you're still here, because um, I wanted to... Yeah, I can't. I don't even know how to do this. I, I can't do it because I'm using Ecamm. So I wanted to bring Steve in, but you know what? We're gonna have to do it on Monday. But if Steve, if you, if you're still here with me, um, what happens is this: is that I was talking to Steve last week, and we were actually we did a, a, a quick little uh, test uh, through through Facebook Live or YouTube. I'm sorry, so through YouTube um, about some cool podcast thing that we've decided to do together, right? We partner up together with that and it's going to be fun. And, and um, we were talking about the, the, how traditional advertising, it's, it's good. Digital advertising is good and combined, it could actually work very well. And, oh yeah, so Steve, you're here. So basically, you know, that's what we were talking about, discussing about one of the things that got me more excited about this is the fact that people, the mindset, right? The mindset of people is changing. As a matter of fact, I had a conversation with Joey too, right? Where he basically, we were talking and he came up with this, which I, I it makes so much sense. He said that the market plays, the market, your, your market is what's driving your marketing, <laughs> okay? You know, like people are the one who actually have control of your advertising, of your marketing, of your branding. And I thought for a moment, I'm like, you know what? That makes sense. Because even right now, I have clients that they, they've decided, see, this is where it gets so tricky. They've decided that they were going to wait three months ago. They were going to wait because they felt that this was going to go back to normal and they were going to get people inside the business. 
I, I can only do so much, right? I can only lead you to the success. I cannot push. I don't like pushing people. So I said, okay, well, but this is what I, I said. I believe this is what's going to happen. What, what happened? Exactly what happened. Three or four weeks later, um, uh, especially here in Florida, they decided, hey, you know, you can't open certain businesses and all this stuff. I'm like, we've just lost three weeks. But I said, okay, let's keep going on. Let's go back to this. So we're at this point where now, now, they're still thinking, okay, should we or should we not? And you know what? I don't see any reason why you shouldn't go digital. I think traditional is still good, but we need to have a plan for digital. So if you are watching me and you're thinking, well, you know, I'll stick with um, uh, the money magazines. I don't know if uh, in Canada, if Joey, they have this stuff, but they have magazines where advertisers can put their info there. It's a big booklet, basically, of all these coupons. And we have that here. So people, the business owner would think, oh, let's just stick with that. I said, yeah, that's good. But you can do the same thing on Facebook and actually get way more exposure and more leads just by doing a, an ad that you can literally edit in that times in time moment like if you see something wrong you can go in there and edit you can go and edit something printed you can call the magazine people and say oh by the way we made a mistake or we, we changed something no you can't do that right so again there's there's always this this balance and i'm gonna tell you this i will tell you this local stuff yeah for sure right so i'm, I'm gonna tell you this like i was talking to steve about this is We've got to make sure that biz the business owner understands that we are in a transition place. And the only way to do that is to bring in examples, right? To, to, to see what other people are doing, uh, to see what the business owners are doing, to see what the market is, where is it heading. Worst case scenario, worst case, I've told you this before, if we do go 100% digital, and everything shuts down. Well, guess what? You better be prepared, right? That's why you need to get prepared now. What can you do now and start practicing going live? And by the way, going live is it, okay? For right now, just go do lives. But going live, uh, what is advertising? What is the campaigns? I explained all that to you, right? What is uh, how to actually prepare your web page that actually converts, um, you know, what? the automation process, the emails that you need to send, all this information is just preparation because once you know about it and you practice it, when we switch, worst case scenario, when we switch all digital, then you'll be good. You'll know where to go. You'll know how to get move on. But what happens if you don't do it, right? So let's just assume if it's the best scenario, which I don't think this is going to be the best scenario, but I'm just saying I'm going to be optimistic right now, okay? If the best scenario is that this pandemic stuff goes away, let's say it goes away by the end of this year. I'm just being very, very optimistic right here, okay? But by the end of this year, let's say it goes away completely, erase off the face of the earth, all right? What has happened? This is the best scenario. What has happened is that people's mindset has been shifted so much that they're still going to be in here in panic mode, in here, all right? So it's going to take them a few more months. Again, I'm going to be optimistic. At least six months after the end of this year for, for people to feel that they're okay to now be with people and be around people and go back to their normal way of things. I'm being super optimistic, okay? But that's the best case scenario. But guess what? You still have to work against the mindset of people. So what are you going to do as a business owner? Right? You still need what? Go digital. Go online. Do you see what I'm getting at? So worst case you've got to be prepared and know what you're doing online. Best case, you still need to prepare and know what's going on online and how to take your expand your business online. You see what I'm saying? So again, this is um, this has been a crazy cool week for me. 
because I was thinking, how do I put all this information for you guys to just go and get it, a convenient place to get it? You know, I, I tell you that I've been doing this for the past three months, uh, almost four now, and I've done every single day a video, Monday through Friday. So if you count how many days that is, which I have no idea, there's a lot of videos that I've done, right? Well, for you to sit down in front of your computer looking for what you need, right? It's going to take time. And then you have to find out because sometimes I go off tangent or, you know, I, I start with something and I'll end up with some other topic. But it's good info that I want you to have. So here's what I've decided to do. And this is what I have to show, share with you today, the, the special news. So I decided to bring in all this past three and a half months worth of information into a very comprehensive and accessible, conveniently accessible online for you to have access to. That means that you can go look at the process. You can follow along with me on video. Um, I use the whiteboard a lot. As a matter of fact, this is some of the things that, that I'm adding to the program. Uh, the web page framework, you guys remember that? The framework, what you need to have. The email sequence, remember that one too? If you haven't watched me, there's a sequence that I recommend to have when someone becomes a lead to be able to convert them immediately within the first week. So that's there. And the fast research, this was Bridget's idea, by the way. Thank you, Bridget. Because Bridget was saying, uh, I think it was last week or two weeks ago, she's like, hey, can you just show us how to how to use uh, Google Trends? I'm like, hmm, good point, Bridget. <laughs> Again, I told you there's so much that you need to do, but I needed to give you what I, I wanted to give you what you need at the moment. You know, I wish I can just dump everything on you, but you know what's going to happen? Information overload. And you'll be like, stuck. <laughs> right? You're like, oh, that's too much info. So anyway, point is, I made it convenient, convenient, convenient. I made it very convenient, super accessible. Like literally, you can watch it on your phone or you can go online and step by step, right? So there is no reason why any one of you cannot go and do what I've done. Um, Steve? Everything is moving to digital, no matter what happens with COVID. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. We, we're just being pushed. That's a good point, uh, Steve. We're being pushed into what, what was supposed to happen maybe five years from now or so. We're being pushed like now. So anyway, I was going to say, it's like, for example, with Steve, right? Um, when he first met me, Steve here went and did it. And the coolest thing happened, and Steve can tell you, if, if you're still here, Steve, you can agree with me at least because I can't bring you live. You know, I, I, I thought I was going to bring you live, but I can't. Anyway, but with Steve here, what I did was I said the same thing, right? I said, okay, do this, do this. And every, and every, every, at least every week, every week, Steve would text me or message me and I will just keep going and, and giving him the direction. But what was cool about Steve was that, remember Steve, the first week, it was crazy. Steve calls me up, like, I think on the fourth day. Was it the fourth day, third day, or fourth day? Hand-holding is so important. Yeah, that's right, Joey. Um, but the third or fourth day, Steve calls me out or messages me, right? It's a long message, too. And it's something to do that his excitement because he was telling me he went live. And he started getting all these people to ask for projects. He, uh, he does uh, printing, advertising. He's a super, super guru expert in creating the branding for your business, by the way. And he, he can create, like if you have an idea, he is so good with, he's, a, he's very artistic. He's like, he does painting, okay? So that's how much he is good with this stuff. And so if you even have an idea, he'll practically create your own brand logo and whatever. And then he puts it in, 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 in stuff, right? The swags, right? The swag stuff. Anyway, point is that he started getting a bunch of projects and then a week passed by or two weeks passed by and all of a sudden, you know, he started doing all these videos and now he's hooked. It's been, I think, uh, Steve, it was probably two months now, I think. I think it's two months now. But now he's hooked and now he's so comfortable and confident in going live that he decided to do one of his passions, 
which by the way, three days in, my videos brought tons of work. Yeah, I, I remember Steve was busy because uh, he's, he's like, uh, what do I do now? I, I remember those times. But now he's passionate about doing this better because he just, I just found out, and now, what was it, uh, a week or two ago, we had a conversation and I just found out that he has this thing that he always thought about doing some type of podcast or radio type of thing. And sure enough, here we go, right? And so he's super excited about the, the skills that he's learned and that he's going to continue to put into practice. But why I'm telling you this story is this. Steve has a physical business. He has a local business, a printing, advertising, marketing, printing business that he goes and unlocks every day, okay? And yet he has now become, as his town knows him, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Steve, but the internet celebrity, I think is what they're calling you now, because He's taking this by advantage of going digital, you see? So he understands what's happening and he's doing it. And then later on, I think next week, what I'm going to do, since I have Steve right here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring the uh, the other two, uh, Martha and Norma. They, they're experiencing the same exact thing, uh, which Norma, by the way, uh, she started doing her, um, it's called Three Bean Cocktails. And yeah, I won't tell you much about that one, but... Basically, she is becoming such a famous person that a radio station wants to pick her show so that she can, uh, because she's uh, focusing on the Latinos, right? So the Latin America peeps, they get that show. She does it in Spanish, sometime English. I've told her already, go English too. Um, but she's becoming that popular, right? So it reminds me of Steve, the internet celebrity. He's now, she's now going to be that in the radio. It's, it's crazy. Um Need for advice on how to get started. Exactly, exactly. Because I, I've told you, good point, Steve. We are going to go where this is heading, digital world, right? Digital world, digital. Because we're the first ones to do this, guess what's going to happen? We become the leaders. We become the go-to people, the go-to experts. And just like what's happening with Steve, they're going to ask you, how do you do that? What have you done? Show me, teach me. The op I'm telling you, the opportunities are endless, okay? Don't get me too excited. <laughs> Let me drink some coffee because I need some more energy, right? Actually, I need more energy right now. Can you imagine? Mm. Anyway, can you tell I'm a little passionate about this? <laughs> anyway, point is, so there's things happening. This guy, Steve here, and and, and many other. I think Bridget, uh, too bad. He is far away looking for that for my trucks. Oh, psh, talk to Steve. Uh, I know he can do that stuff. Uh, so talk to him, Bridget. Steve, get with Bridget together. You can help her. I'm sure you can. But uh, anyway, point is this, guys. I've done something for you. Is going to be available next week. Now, here is my plan. Okay, now check, hear me out. It's going to be Tuesday. That's my grand opening of this. All right. I've spent a lot. You can ask Joey if Joey's still here. I spent a lot of hours putting this together, a lot of video takings, a lot of editing, the lighting, the board, the, I had to buy a bunch of better uh, uh, markers, and I had to do many videos too, because this is one video, another video, another video, another video, plus uh, create the, the checklist, plus create the transcriptions, and, and I mean, basically, I went all out. All right, because I like to tell, to give first a bunch, you know, and, and over, under commit and over perform. I'm always that way. So yeah, very, thank you. Thank you, Joey. So, so anyway, so I did all this work so that anyone can go through it and in three months be able to have activity with Facebook Live. All right. Actually, it could be any other platform as long as you're going live, but have the activity to get more eyes on your business, to be exposed more and become the go-to business, the go-to service, the go-to person. 
in your industry, okay? So all of that. So I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, again, my grand opening is Thursday. So if Tuesday, next week. So if you're watching this recording, you're being warned. It's coming. But get this. This is what I want to tell you. We're going to take it easy. Okay? I won't be able to take a thousand people and because I need to make sure that everyone that goes through this process is able to leave me a comment, recommendation, suggestions, or questions to make it better. All right. So that's what's going to happen. So I will start it out. I'll open the doors. Everyone will be able to sign up and go through it. And once the time comes, I'm going to have to close it for a little bit and then reopen it again. Okay. So that's the whole process. So the good news for you is that now that you know in your first, you'll have some pretty darn great incentives in there. Okay. So I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just let you come through. How's that? <laughs> All right. Oh, there you go. Um, Bridget. Yeah. Connect, just connect with Bridget, uh, Steve, just, um, I don't know. I, I think you can click on her, um, name here and just send her a message and maybe and Bridget, by the way, Steve, that doesn't mean if he's not there, he can't help you. I know that you're in Canada too, but Steve is really a really a, a, an amazing expert with this uh, marketing, printing, advertising uh, techniques that he has, and he can probably even guide you in the right direction too. So, so definitely get together. Make sure you guys talk about it. All right, awesome. All right, I gotta go. It's like. Man, I started late and now I'm pushing it through the limit here. But thank you so much again. Um, yeah, let's just let's just go together with this, okay? So again, I really appreciate you watching this video. I really appreciate you guys being here live. We're gonna stay together, do this together, go through this challenge and an amazing opportunity so that we can actually see the success. And I tell you, at the end of this year, this is gonna be an amazing, a crazy, crazy cool and fun time because you can actually become the person that many people will seek you out so that you can help them out too. All right. So this is really exciting stuff, guys. Thank you so much again for working with me today because the change, <laughs> I wasn't sitting at my little desk over there, but at least I had my cup of coffee. That's what's most important in my life. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much again. Enjoy your weekend. We'll talk Monday. All right. I'll remind you a little bit more about Monday, maybe even give you a sneak peek. I don't know. We'll see how it works out. Otherwise, enjoy your weekend. Okay. Remember, unplug, relax, do some yoga, exercise, go outside, breathe some fresh air. Just relax. Take it easy. Enjoy time with friends and family. And remember to stay cool, stay calm, and keep a sound mind. Peace, everybody. Thank you so much for participating, everyone. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great one, guys. Peace.